Hey everybody, it's Steve from Middle Kingdom Fitness. I haven't made a video in about a week, which is crazy for me. Um, well, a variety of reasons, good and bad. Um, good because um, I've been focusing a lot on my exercise. I um, purchased bicycles for us the other week and uh, I've been using them quite often and that's the time that I normally make videos while I'm on the exercise bike. But now that I have an actual bike, um, it's not safe, uh, nor uh, is it something that I, I want to do. I don't want to make videos while I'm riding. I'd rather enjoy the scenery, fresh air. And I've basically been riding uh, near our new house that's being built, which is also taking up some of my time right now. Um, it's in the very early stages, but I've, I've gone by and uh, I'm amazed at the amount of progress they've made in less than a week. Um, we're building from the ground up from scratch. Um, I did post a video of it and I got a couple of smart ass remarks and that's another reason why I stayed away because uh, you know, I'm just not in the mood right now. Uh, somebody said, uh, I'm too old to build a house. Ridiculous. Just, I'm not even going to address that comment. It's so stupid. Someone else said, look, he's building a shed. It was day one. What they saw was the, the builder's shade from the sun when they take their break. There's no house built yet. Why would you think that... Somebody else said, oh, for 6000 eh? Well, I don't know where they came up with that price. They don't, they're don't. they not taking currency into account. They're not taking down payments into account. They're not taking my word into account. They're just basing it, and somebody else is commenting on that. And so, yeah, I've had these problems before. I get frustrated. I take things too personally. I know it. But also, um, as you know, I... I do online training with multiple platforms, and I started with a new one this week, and um, it, it was exciting, uh, nerve-wracking, frustrating, uh, enjoyable, I mean, the, <laughs> the gamut of emotions. Uh, it's just a very different platform from the others that I'm working with, and um, they don't really have a, a simulator, so I didn't get to practice the procedures, I just kind of got thrown into a class, and um, I'll learn, but I really wasn't happy. And then also, um, you know, I'm not the most technical guy, obviously, but um, there was some Wi-Fi issues with it, and I don't know if it's because their site is more involved, it's more hands-on, I don't know if there's more to it, but... Um, I was having a difficult time maintaining a, a Wi-Fi connection. There was a lag on my end. Now, when I do the other ones, there's a lag too sometimes, but the clients don't see the lag. Only I see it, so I can go with it, and it's okay. But this, I, I don't know if it's the same situation. Um, I had to refresh a few times, and um, a couple of reasons for that. One, the time of day that I did it. Um, with other platforms, I choose my own class time. And I, I intentionally do it in the early morning hours here because I know that the Wi-Fi traffic is considerably less than it is later in the day. But this one schedules the classes and then adds the coaches later. So I'm, I have to adhere to their schedule. And... Um, it was not the optimal time. Plus, we have a house guest over who um, is just watching Netflix videos all day long. Um, and I did request that she, uh, for the, the, the hour of class time that I have, just not use the Wi-Fi. Um, and she did it with dad in the first time, and I still had the issue. So I 
I spoke to a buddy of mine who knows a lot more about computers than I do, and he said that even if they're not using the, the Wi-Fi, if they're on data or um, a hotspot, they're still choking up your bandwidth. Um, and like I said, he knows a lot more than I do, so I went with it, and I asked a second time, please turn everything off. Not only did I ask, but I, I put it in writing so there was no confusion, and an agreement was made, but when my class went on, I, I could hear the movies in the background. I could, I could hear it coming from the next room, so I knew that, and the, the answer was, but I'm on my hotspot, and I said, well, I told you not to be on your hotspot. Oh, but the hotspot doesn't interfere. I said, well, if you would have listened to me and I had a problem with the connection, I would just blame myself. But since you didn't follow my instructions, now I can blame you. So I'd rather be proven wrong. You know, if you swear that you know that the hotspot's not going to affect it, then do it without it and l let my system jam up. And if that's so, then I know I'm wrong. I'll apologize, and I'll figure something out. And so I didn't like being ignored. Um, it was my very first time being in charge of the class for this group. There's three trainers. There's a lead trainer and two coaches, and a backup, by the way. So there's there's four people involved in every class. This is the first time I was leading it, and it was um, an online mess. And that caused a lot of issues here for a few days. Um, also, I was under the impression, based on what I've been told, that I have the best Wi-Fi package available. And now I found out that that's not true. I don't. I thought I had fiber optic. I thought I had the highest package that I can get, and I found out that neither of those were true. Um, so now we're stepping it up, but, you know, I've been, between my online clients and the online platforms and tremendously slow YouTube uploads, I wish I had known this sooner. So I don't understand why things have to my push has to come to shove so many times. So workouts were going better. But now my back is a little bit sore again. I have the wrestling show coming up next week. So I don't want to take any chances. So I'm going to do light workouts again for the remainder of the week. Diet's good. Weight is quite low. It's almost at its lowest. It's one-tenth of a kilogram from my all-time low. So I'm just going to keep focusing on that. Uh, we are going away on a day trip. Well, actually, it starts tonight, but it's a, like a six to eight hour ride. So we'll get there early in the morning and then we'll leave late at night, Sunday night. And then I had the wrestling at the end of that week, so I'll be leaving late Friday night to get there early Saturday morning. And I'll be leaving Manila to come back home late Monday evening. I'll be home early Tuesday morning. So I just got to... And that's the, the confusing thing, too. It's driving me crazy because the two online platforms that I'm primarily working for. The first online platform is based on Filipino time. Easy. The second one is based on California time. Um, I could adjust to that. However, when you're working for two different platforms, it's very confusing. And for the last week, I, I, I don't know what day it is. And it, it's just, I'll get used to it, I'm sure. But right now, it's just kind of weird, 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 weird. Okay, well, I've taken up 10 minutes of your time. So thank you. Oh, and by the way, the... Uh, Tap Sports, which is the, the channel here that covers WWE, um, which has been down for a month, is back up. So I will try and watch a little SmackDown. 
See you later.